Namaste. Today we will do statement problems from exercise 5.3. A sum of rupees 700 is to be used to give 7 cash prizes to students of a school for their overall academic performance. If each prize is rupees 20 less than its preceding price, find the value of each of the prizes. Here sum is given is 700. Each price is 20 less than its preceding price. In a series, each term is 20 less than preceding price. That means common difference is negative 20, not positive 20. 20 is not more than preceding price. 20 is less than preceding price. If these are the terms, here 20 is less than this preceding amount. Again, 20 is less than this preceding amount. We have to find the value of the prices. Let first price be P. Price amount is P. Then next term will be T minus 20. Now again the third term. P minus 20 is the second term. Minus 20. This is the common difference. You will get the third term. P minus 40. So third term is P minus 40. So here we can say A. First term is P. Now we have to apply it in the formula for sum. Sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here we know the sum that is 700 equal to n we know. It is given in the question 7 cash prizes. So n equal to 7. So 7 by 2 into 2 into a 2 into p plus 7 minus 1 is 6 into d is negative 20. Again, 700 equal to 7 by 2 into 2p minus 120. Here in 2p and 120, we have 2 as the common factor. So, we can take it outside. So, it becomes 700 equal to 7 by 2 into 2. Here, 2 is taken outside. So, here balance will be 1p minus from 120, 2 factor is taken outside. So, balance will be 60. 260 is a 120. This 2 and 2 get cancelled. This 7 we can take to the side. It goes to denominator. 700 by 7 we will get 100. 100 equal to P minus 60. That is P equal to. Here we have 100. This negative 60 we can take it to here. So it becomes plus 60. 100 plus 60. P equal to 160. So, the cash price, first price is 160. Now, 20 less than the preceding price means here 140, here 120. Likewise, we can say 7 terms that is 160, 140, 120. Now, 100, 80, 60, 40. Each term differ by 20. Next question. In a school, students thought of planting trees in and around the school to reduce air pollution. It was decided that the number of trees that each section of each class will plant will be the same as the class in which they are studying. Example, a section of class 1 will plant one tree. A section of class 2 will plant two trees and so on till class 12. There are three sections of each class. How many trees will be planted by the students? Here, classes we know starts from 1 and ends in 12. And there will be 12 terms. N equal to 12. Now, terms are like this. Because number of trees planted are same as the class they are studying. So, so first standard student plant 1 tree. Second standard 2 trees. Third standard 3 trees. Fourth standard 4 trees. Like that till 12. And here the common difference, D equal to, you will get 1. So we have to find how many trees they planted, that is sum. So S12, there are 12 terms here. So S12 equal to 12 by 2 into 2 into A. Here A equal to 1, first term is 1. 2 into A means 2 into 1, that is 2 plus N minus 1, 12 minus 1, 11 into D. Difference is 1 again, 11 into 1 is 11. 12 by 2 is 6, 13, 78. From 1st standard to 12, section A planted 78 trees. There are 3 sections. That is in 1st standard there are 3 classes. 2nd standard 3 classes like that. If this is A section's number of trees, B section will also plant 78. Section C also have 1 to 12. So total number of trees is 3 into 78 to 34. This is total number of trees planted by the students. 